you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to go over the brand new title update for Madden and potentially the signature series card. So, it's 10.30. October 17th, boys. It's the morning of Before Most Feared Stars. We've got a brand new title update, some new X Factors, some crazy new abilities and stuff that we've got to go all over in this title update. And I don't have much time to make them separate videos, so I'm going to be tossing in potentially a signature series at the end of this video also. So stay tuned for both of that. I'll try to get those both for you guys out by 1030. So let's head on over to the screen in a second, boys. But don't forget, the day-long giveaways are still going on. They started yesterday. We did not hit the goals. They continue today. If we don't hit the goals today, I'll probably just toss it to you guys tomorrow for showing all the crazy support. So remember, all you gotta do is like the video and drop below down below 50k so I can pick a winner. If this video hits 400 likes or any video today, I will be giving away 50k to a random commenter. So all you gotta do is comment below 50k. Like the video, boys. And if you are new to the channel, you could so kindly hit that subscribe button, boys. Turn on that noti bell. And enjoy the rest of your day. Let's get into these videos and heading over to the development notes and everything that we have to see for this title update all right so guys we are on the page so i'm going to skip over some of this stuff right here so this is just the superstar x factor page they replaced melvin gordon with dalvin cook they put jair alexander in there in place of ben roethlisberger they put chris jones in place of cam newton now they updated superstars like cooper cup kevin bayard shaquille barrett kenny clark deon jones melvin gordon and they downgraded well they downgraded melvin gordon and ben roethlisberger now let's head over to the new abilities this is where i feel like you guys care about the most new x factor zone abilities Protective custody. Ball carriers with this ability are immune to fumbling when in the zone, which is kind of scary when you have guys that like evasive and everything. Pretty much you can go crazy, take as many hits as you want, take the most risks you can, and just you can't fumble, which is actually a really good ability. I do kind of like that one. Available as an ability for running backs only. Now, this is the scary one right here, boys. Moss. Xerxes just called me mid-video to complain about this. Moss. I didn't I, when I heard it, I knew it wasn't gonna be good. Inspired by Ultimate Team Legend wide receiver Randy Moss. When in the zone. When players in this, with this ability enter the zone, they will win contested catches regardless of coverage on passes of 50 yards or more, but does fall back to ratings formula when countered bypass coverage uh, abilities. So in essence, guys, if Randy Moss or any of your tall receivers are in the zone, you could essentially literally just go ahead, streak it to anyone you have on your team into seven coverage. Like there could literally be two safeties, three cornerbacks and a linebacker. And he's going to catch it. You guys understand how ridiculous that is? If your receiver gets into the zone, pretty much, you just keep throwing it downfield to him. You just get, you throw it 50 yards and he's going to catch it every time. That is ridiculous, guys. I've never heard of something like that. I'm kind of scared to see who can get this. And when they do get this, pretty much, they're going to score in your possession. They automatically score. I don't know how they lose it. I don't know how they'll end up losing it by dropping a pass. It's apparently, they can't. They'll win it every time. That's that's crazy, guys. But the new abilities, you got Lumberjack. Defensive ability, preventing broken tackles and can cause fumble when using cut stick tackles. That's not, that's okay. That's decent. Out of my way. Defensive ability that allows wins versus impact block attempts versus wide receivers, tight ends, and running backs. If you could put that on a cornerback, that'd be awesome. Or a linebacker. Honestly? Wow. If you could put that on a linebacker or like a cornerback, which I know a linebacker probably get it, but cornerback, when the wide receiver comes up, you could always, always wreck that side of the field's run game. I would love that. Goal line stuff, defensive ability, allowing quick block sheds against one-on-one -on -one blocks within five yards of the goal line. That's awesome too, honestly. Getting your defensive tackle or one of your ends with that, literally, instantly, you could always stop a run within the five, and people this year run a lot on the five-yard line. So that's a really cool one too. Inside stuff, allowing quick block sheds against one-on-one -on -one run blocks on the inside running plays. That's also awesome. If you have that, you can stop inside zone and uh, single back, uh, halfback dive and everything. No outsiders, defensive ability, allowing quick block sheds against one-on-one -on -one run blocks on outside running plays another awesome ability so pretty much they're really getting they're really giving you some ways to stop they're really giving you some ways to stop the run this year and it's not well now they are and it's not it's not even an x factor it's ability so like they'll have it all game and then tank inspired by rob gronkowski ball carriage with ability break all hit stick tackles but does fall back this ability is only available for tight ends inside of ultimate team okay so wow you know how huge this is because every person hit sticks instantly they break all hit stick tackles. Wow. So I'm going to need this, guys. I'm really going to need this on one of my tight ends. This is probably a reason for to get Rob Gronkowski. Oh, there's so much to go over. All new abilities will be available on Ultimate Team and Superstar KO. For new and existing franchise leagues, this will be added in a future title update. Global updates, general stability, connectivity improvements, updated Ravens fan art. Franchise updates, guys. I'm sorry, but I'm more of a uh, Ultimate Team guest. I feel like that doesn't really apply to my channel. 
Presentation, various commentary updates, updated Buccaneers defensive starting lineup presentation to reflect 3-4 rather than 4-3. Updated coach tip ball. Let's see, tuning up of two gameplay updates, reintroduced stumbling for ball carriers in specific situations. Okay, tuning to reduce the frequency of auto broken tackles versus AI controlled defenders when using converse conservative. Uh, let's see anything interesting here. Tuning to prevent the ball carrier from retaining top speed while using the cover ball mechanic on competitive games. So yeah, that's important. People were literally running full speed while covering the ball. So that's pretty good too. Added functionality to receivers on abilities, rack them up, double me, and max security so they would be press versus man coverage when in the zone. Okay. Fixed an issue that prevented offense from snapping the ball with the player in motion while the defense was resetting the play. Fixed an issue allowing inaccurate sky kickoffs in the sideline to be frequently covered by the cover picking team. So they finally fixed the kickoff glitch where you could literally sky kick to the sideline just to cover it right away. That's cool. Tuning to fix an issue of Ben Roethlisberger's short and medium pass animations. Fix an issue causing a player to freeze on the ground after getting tackled by the feet. Um, let's see anything cool here. Causing kickoff animation to misalign during an onside kick. All right, I think we covered a lot of this. Ultimate team updates, here we go. Added functionality for players to get currency refunds for superstar abilities and zone abilities. Guys, this is huge. If you don't know what this is, stay tuned for this. All superstar abilities, zone abilities, and chemistries will be eligible for a 90% refund at all times. Players can choose to manually go and refund individual abilities, chemistries, or the refund will happen automatically when downgrading an item. After refunding, the ability will need to be repurchased, but that's fine. So guys, in theory, you can now put abilities on everyone. On anyone you want. If you want to try to play, you, you, there's, a new, there's a new Ezekiel Elliott that comes out. You want to try him out with abilities, see how he feels. Go ahead. 95, 90% 90 refund. So in theory, in theory, if you buy Evasive for 1.5, like 1,500 uh, training, you can then go ahead and power it right back down and you get back almost all of it. You get back down near the whole thing. If you spend 1,000 training, you get back 900 of it. So now you can go back onto your team and refund yourself all the abilities that you bought with training, get back a ton of training that you don't want. And now guys like Marcus Allen and stuff, I can go power him down. I don't have to be stuck with him because I get all that stuff back. Wow, I'm going to get a ton of training back. And now guys, for gameplays for you guys on the channel, I can now power up guys all the way, chem them up and everything and know that I'll get everything back. I want you to lose it. And that is super cool. I'm super hyped for that. Added functionality to prevent points from improperly being awarded in specific house rules when a penalty is committed. Finally, so you can't cheat in house rules. Updated the mud draft coach round. Player likely likeness update for Gronkowski and Calvin. And then I think that about covers the update. Let's head over to the signature series cards. All right, guys. So the first signature series card is Evan Ingram. You guys already knew about these because they kind of uh, leaked them last week on accident. It's ultimate team, which resulted in a bunch of make rights and stuff. Evan Ingram, 91 overall tight end. I wish he had a power up card so that I could get this card and power him up to like an 86 speed tight end. But sadly, he does not have one. He has 88 speed, 89 excel, 87 agility, 86 jumping, 90 awareness. By far the most athletic tight end in the game. 86 catching, 80 catch and traffic, 90 spec catch, 84 route running, 82 medium route running, 81 deep route running, 81 release. And his run blocking is not too great, which I wish that was higher, but he is more of a receiver. He's got ball carrier vision and decent. Yeah, he doesn't have much after the catch stats. He has the most athletic tight end in the game though. Really good catching stats, really good stats in general. I really do like this card too bad that He's going to be a limited time with no uh, no power up cards, so that kind of limits him from that front. Now, let's go check out the other new car, which is going to be, and he is gone. That's cool. Okay, let's refresh that real quick. He was just right there. Everson Griffin. There we go. So, Everson Griffin, 91 overall right end for the Minnesota Vikings. Let's see what he's got. Six foot three, 80 speed for right end, which isn't bad. 83 excel, 91 awareness, 84 strength. Decent stats so far. 85 block shed, 90 pursuit, 89 tackle, 84 hit power, 91 play rec. So the play rec's really good, the tackle's really good, the pursuit's really good, the hit power's decent. I wish that block shed was higher. Powered up in chem dub, you could potentially get it to a 90, which does save this card. And he does have 91 pass move, uh, power move. So potentially you could get him to be an elite run stuffer, an elite pass rusher with good athleticism. I really do like this card, guys. That is about it, guys. I'm not gonna go over these too much because video's gone long enough with the title update. So let's head back over to the man screen real quick. All right, guys, this is about it for the video. I do not see any of them on the block just yet. I am checking, but I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I hope that the title update gave you guys some info on the new stuff in Madden. I'm super hyped for the refund. I'm super hyped for the new player likenesses and guys looking a little more like they should. Um, the new abilities are really cool, although it's going to really put us, uh, going to stop the run game a little bit. So we really got to, it's that's the one that sucks. You're really going to have to look at who people have now. Because one team might be able to destroy on the run, then you have to check that they don't have the inside stopper and stuff. Because if they do, you have to play differently. So they're going to change the ins and outs of every game and the way you play. So that could make games a little more intriguing and different every time. But 
That does about wrap it up for this video, boys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Stay tuned for the other three videos I have coming for you guys today. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, boys. Come join the family. Let's get to 11K as quickly as possible. Turn on that noti bell, boys, to be notified every time I post a brand new video. Don't forget to drop a like on the video, boys, and comment down below 50K. If any video today hits or any video tomorrow hits, I will be giving away 50K to a random commenter. So make sure you comment so I don't miss you. That's about it, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hope you guys enjoy the videos. Enjoy the most feared promo, boys. Make sure to check out my what to do first and most feared videos so you guys know exactly what to do. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.